Vinisha Uma Shankar, a 15-year-old girl from Tiruvannamalai in Tamil Nadu, has invented a solar ironing cart that's winning global respect. A few years ago, Vinisha was returning home from school when she saw a man throwing away burnt charcoal on the roadside. He was an ironing vendor who pressed people's clothes for a living. And his main appliance was an old-fashioned iron box filled with hot charcoal that emitted clouds of smoke. Finding six such vendors in her neighborhood made Vinisha think about how much charcoal was being burnt every day in India and the damage it was doing to the environment. And Vinisha was right. Burning charcoal emits particulate matter that pollutes the air and releases greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide, which contributes to climate change. Now consider the fact that there are currently around 10 million such carts being used in India. So Vinisha came up with an idea. Instead of using charcoal, the vendors could use something abundantly available in India, sunshine. Over the span of six months, she studied college-level physics textbooks to design a solar car that could power a steam iron. Then she submitted her concept to India's National Innovation Foundation, whose engineers helped her build a full-scale working prototype and apply for a patent. And so the Iron Max was born. This solar cart with an ironing box is attached to a cycle that allows vendors to move through the neighborhood to collect clothes to press. Five hours of bright sunshine is enough to operate it for six hours. The energy can also be stored in a battery to provide power on cloudy days. The cart also has a coin-operated mobile charging point where people can pay to recharge their phones to supplement vendors' earnings. No wonder Vinisha's brilliant innovation has dazzled not just the Indian government but also global leaders like Prince William who picked her as the youngest finalist for his Earthshot prize. Just recently, she gave a powerful speech at COP26, UN's Climate Change Summit in Scotland, in which she urged world leaders to stop talking and start acting. She reminded them about how monumental their actions would be for her generation. You are deciding whether or not we will have a chance to live in a habitable world. You are deciding whether or not we are worth fighting for, worth supporting and worth caring.